Hi, I'm Dr. Andrew Jordan, rheumatologist at BJC Health in Sydney, Australia. Today I want to talk about a medication called sulfasalazine, which also has trade names of uh, pyrolin or salazapyrin, uh, and probably some other different trade names overseas. This is a medication that's used in a few different situations. Uh, it's particularly used in rheumatoid arthritis, uh, psoriatic arthritis, and it's also used for inflammatory bowel disease. Uh, it's often a medication that uh, I will use in combination with other medications, except in a specific situation where a young female may be wanting to fall pregnant. And the reason I use this medication frequently here is that it is known to be very safe in pregnancy and breastfeeding. So sulfasalazine uh, is a medication that comes in 500 milligram strength here in Australia. Uh, I will typically start at one tablet a day and increase by one tablet every day until the dose that I want to achieve. The maximum dose is three grams daily. So in Australia, that's six tablets per day, but often you don't need to increase to that dose. Sulfasalazine does take two or even three months for full effect. So it's important that you're not expecting immediate results from this medication. It is a long-term medication, so it's important that you're aware about uh, potential side effects. The most important one that I tell my patients about is an allergic reaction, which is typically occurs to the sulfur component of sulfasalazine. And this can be potentially serious if, it, if the medication is not stopped. Uh, the first signs are often um, a, a skin rash, uh, sometimes a fever, and sometimes your blood counts will become abnormal. So one of the important monitoring tests is that in the first uh, two months, we would frequently do blood tests to make sure you're not having this reaction where your blood counts are dropping. It is a rare side effect, but it's important that you stop the medication if you get any of this and immediately speak to your treating doctor. Sulfasalazine uh, does cause some other side effects. Typically, these are related to the dose. So the higher the dose, the more likely you to get side effects. And this would be abdominal or tummy upset, um, bowel motions or a headache. Uh, this can often be helped by just dropping the dose to the level that's manageable. Um, and sometimes uh, if they occur on the low dose, maybe this medication may not be for you. Uh, so that, I hope that helps answer some of your uh, simple questions about uh, sulfasalazine. Please have this discussion with your treating doctor when you're starting it and uh, when you're continuing to, to take it. Mm -hmm.